Hello everybody, today uh, I'm on another entrepreneurial trip uh, in Rotterdam. I'm currently sitting in the garden of uh, actually connect connectedness or connectivity, uh, Verbondenheit. And this is a newly uh, built garden where you can actually see uh, we have wooden table with seats, uh, plug connections, but what I love the most, a space to work also for all the entrepreneurs or people which would like to work, which like to take, uh, take maybe a break and recharge, maybe not working. Uh, so uh, I think it's important to create such uh, uh, places where people can indeed recharge during the day sit in the nature, look at plants, beautiful as you can see. Uh, so I'm really happy uh, that this is really in the indoor, in the building of uh, main building of Erasmus MC at Molen Waterplane 40. And what, why I, I came here, not only on the sentimental reason, because I did a PhD here, uh, 2001 to 2005, in the part of cell biology, uh, in stem cells, but uh, what brought me here in a new initi initiative which is uh, called Rotterdam Square. And the managing director is Ellen Smith, which uh, actually I met uh, already in Leiden Bioscience Park, who was involved in, in Leiden Bioscience Park uh, uh, community, uh, and now uh, uh, she is managing director of Rotterdam Square and it's beautifully in her speech was at the, as, the, as, the, uh, uh, as, as also opening um, in the opening program uh, about that indeed the square is a symbol also uh, taken from the cities right when the square markets especially I think in Poland Polish people maybe um, know it very well uh, but also in Italy and other places uh, square markets were, were the place, contact point, basically, where people were meeting each other and, and, and connecting, right? Not only in terms of uh, entrepreneurs, uh, but also in terms of social gatherings of, of the square markets. And I think that's why this, this place was called Rotterdam Square, this, not only this place, but whole initiative of organization. Uh, it is actually an organization that connects the life sciences and health ecosystem in the Rotterdam region. And the goal of this organization is to bring together experts in healthcare, science and technology, so really LSH, which you can know about abbreviation uh, uh, life sciences and health, from academia, importantly, and industry to accelerate health and tech innovation and create healthcare solutions for the future. And of course, it's located here on the campus, so I think it's fantastic um, because it also uh, connects uh, also hospital and all the scientists and, and also medical doctors, which which are involved in uh, in innovation, in innovation process, and working on innovation. So I, I really like it that also is it. The, the, it is located but also brings collaboration with Erasmus MC, Erasmus University and Technical University of uh, Delft. So uh, Erasmus and apparently uh, campus is a location where visionaries come together to get tomorrow questions but I think it, it's all typical to all hub centers and I also Leiden Bioscience Park I think this vision comes uh, across. So uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my impressions from the program. I think it was fantastic uh, program. First of all, um, there was a welcome door, as I told you, uh, by Ellen Smith, which is managing director of Trump Square organization or hub organization here. Um, uh, and Importantly, uh, there was next uh, in the program uh, person uh, from um, uh, I think maybe I could uh, more relate this to entrepreneurs because um, I think it would be more 
when I look at my notes, maybe it would be more important to to talk about the speakers which really made a big impression on me. Of course, Ellen uh, in with her opening uh, speech, but also uh, there was a panel, and in this panel of speakers was Konstantin van Oranje, uh, special envoy from TechLib NL in Amsterdam. Uh, what he talked about was more about TechLib organization, uh, especially uh, accelerating programs for uh, scale-ups um, <clears throat> in tech. Uh, that this TechLib is international, general, actually it's, it's bringing international events, uh, but it's also um, uh, important, of course, in all the scale-ups, if you think about uh, <clears throat> daily life of uh, organizations which are scale-ups, so not startup anymore, but scale-ups, which are uh, progressing towards upscaling uh, in an efficient way. I think the time is here, um, the, most, the biggest challenge, because upscaling takes a lot of time still, and he was really uh, looking forward to accelerating ways of processes. So um, processes need to improve, the speed of, of, of this ex need to accelerate in terms of bring uh, quicker innovation to the market or the product to the market and that's very important uh, and I think uh, that's why agile or any agile way of working uh, collaborating can be very beneficial here uh, so I met him, I connected to him, and uh, hopefully I can uh, I can also advertise program which I develop uh, for pre-incubation phase, for early stage, but this program can be also implemented, uh, especially in accelerating processes in for scale-ups. So I think you always have to think about, uh, when you think about the program, uh, also that this program may be useful for, for TechLeap. Um, the second speaker was Varsha Thakur Singh. Uh, she is PhD, but also CEO of uh, Imcomet. Uh, she she has she's CEO of Meta Company here. Uh, she's in incubator at Erasmus um, MC, uh, and importantly, she uh, talked also about. Uh, American mindset, uh, which is really think big and uh, progress uh, fast, uh, because that's what she learned while being in Boston, uh, that everything there is happening so much quicker because uh, of connecting, of people willing to help you and find you and connect you to right people. So I think that's why how we can accelerate these processes also by creating indeed such square and, and, and organizing events. So that's been, besides great achievements uh, in, uh, in cancer, uh, uh, that, that was very important uh, that she also talked not only about her medtech innovation cancer, but also about um, scientific perspective and entrepreneurial perspective. And as PhD, she said actually that yeah, we scientists only usually think from scientific perspective. We always take scientific perspective and not entrepreneurial or business perspective. And that's very really important to integrate all these perspectives to run the business uh, and accelerate it, the processes. So that was really nice to meet her, to talk to her, uh, and uh, also uh, keep in touch. Uh, as, an, as international PhD uh, entrepreneurs, but also as women entrepreneurs. Um, and the third one was Stefan Slifer. He is uh, in the leading committee of Erasmus MC. In Dutch it is Rad van Bestuur, uh, Erasmus MC Forziter. And um, he was talking about uh, how important it is to not only from perspective of scientists, but scientists which becomes entrepreneur, not only thinking about writing articles, but about really uh, translating science to public, so science meets patient. Uh, and 
focusing on on health in investing in health innovation uh, it's also uh, very important and looking at patient data I think what uh, what we really also have to care about it's not only that we generate innovation we pro base on providing uh, uh, innovation to patients but also we should protect this patient the right data uh, because that's also something about IP about uh, privacy about results of medical uh, medical status of each patient so I think that's something which is also very important from from terms of protecting data databases with patient data uh, but definitely promoting uh, the scientific achievements and, and turning it into innovation, innovative product, which can help and improve uh, life standard or quality of life of the patient uh, is here a key. Uh, and I fully agree with that. So uh, that was a panel. And then there was uh, called Paros of the Stat. Uh, uh, this were startups which are already part of incubator um, and uh, one was by biocheck uh, it's to uh, this was developed to actually create um, innovation um, based on physiological data to indicate uh, burnouts or uh, tiredness uh, symptoms I think that's very good uh, when we think of pro about perspective how many people nowadays getting burnout uh, and so I, I really like this uh, type of uh, startup uh, biocheck which uh, brought such fantastic uh, innovation uh, then there was uh, Sade van Fanayete from Master Zikenhaus. This is cl clinical inform informatician. That's very new, I think, in terms of education, but also profession. Um, uh, type of job you could think of uh, in uh, in clinical uh, setting. Uh, and there was a talk by Dao Yipas, Healthy Capital co-founder. Uh, which uh, is was first entrepreneur and maybe he still <laughs> I didn't ask him too long about this I talked to him but also his investor especially for companies at early stage so that's really great and uh, Willem Mess van der Bijl uh, from Dune Innovation uh, uh, which uh, which was talking about how important it is to build right team of engineers to push your innovation to the next level so indeed uh, Rotterdam Square is also very inclusive and that's what I also wanted to say because it works and with startups and with scale-ups and corporates, uh, health organizations uh, uh, and investors. So I think that's, that's very uh, great to hear and, uh, and I think because of this inclusion um, this can bring a fantastic uh, 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 brighter future for life sciences and health. So uh, I think with this uh, I was also very glad that uh, uh, TTO, uh, so Technology Transfer Office of Rotterdam was here, so it was great to also meet them and I'm also going to uh, pitch for them the program, pre incubation program for a uh, brighter future of life sciences and starting entrepreneurs, scientists. Um, so uh, I'm really happy that I made fantastic connections. I talked to many fantastic people and I think to my big surprise was actually to see Ellen Smith on the stage as a managing director uh, because that was for me actually I didn't know about that and we know already each other from Leiden so that was quite a great surprise and I think great milestone also, personal milestone uh, for uh, Ellen. So um, I think with this uh, um, I would like to, from this beautiful garden, uh, uh, tell you a little bit about my uh, memories of the event and shortly summarize it. This was, of course, kickoff, but there will be more events organized. So, you guys, uh, if you uh, are uh, starting at Runner of Life Sciences, join this event. Uh, there, are, the, there will be probably many events organized, so I'm also going to join. Uh, uh, all the events, uh, or maybe not all, but uh, uh, events which are also uh, happening here. And uh, till uh, next uh, time. 
Uh, I will also show you a little bit uh, later uh, maybe how the Rotterdam looks like and how Erasmus MC looks like because it completely changed since I've been here uh, doing my PhD uh, between 2001-2005. Uh, this all new part was apparently built in 2018. This garden is also very new uh, so it's, it's really wonderful to walk here around. But maybe I will now take a walk with you so you can also see how many changes happened here and every PhD student which was in cell biology. By that time I was doing PhD, so 2001-2005. I, I hope you guys uh, will really appreciate that I will show you a little bit what was happening here and how much this changed. It's it's enormous facility, it's, it's really wonderful. So I will, I think, walk you now. And with this, I will just uh, try to make sure that everything is stable. So I will walk you around first. You can see how big this place is uh, indoor. And we can walk a little bit, let me see, together uh, a little bit further, yes. See, so I can walk here, but I have to, of course, find a place how to how to also go away, <laughs> or how to leave here, this place. But it's really wonderful place. So I I feel like in botany garden, <laughs> but indoor. It's uh, it's really fantastic place, uh, and you can sit here also to have a coffee. Uh, it's wonderful, but I want to show you a little bit how this really looks like. So it's definitely a place where you can really take and recharge for a while, having some nice break or maybe work. Uh, so it's it's fantastic initiative and we will a little bit go here. So. I want to show you what is happening also outside because that's quite shocking. But uh, outside you will see this you will see this. This is old hospital which I used to know and now it's being uh, completely removed, going to be completely damaged and destroyed. So that's one thing. And we'll also go outside, so you will get real idea how this looks like. But uh, they really are, um, yeah, destroying the old hospital, and uh, they're going to build probably new building. But I don't know yet what will be the plan to to bring it because it's quite a lot of buildings here. I have to say, here, just here, you have a street. It's Arcade, and here we go, actually, and you will see, I will try to show you also a little bit. This is this new part which was built, 2018, and this is completely new street. It's all covered, so you feel like you are in a small city, a small village. So uh, there is a lot of shops around, there is even, I've seen Albert Hein. Uh, and uh, for me, this this is huge uh, change. Uh, this was not existing when I was doing PhD, so it's so new for me uh, how much this became, how big this became. And of course, uh, these are all facilities uh, like shops. Uh, uh, I don't know if there is hairdresser here. Maybe there is hairdresser. <laughs> But uh, if I will find her, just there, I will show you. But there is really a lot of things happening here. I myself, as an old patient, I would feel here really overwhelmed uh, because it's too, it's so big. But luckily, there is reception. Reception is here, so you can find easily everything. But it is big. It's it's huge. And now I go to the uh, exit, or actually hope to. So main entrance, and I'm going to show you a little bit 
how this looks like. Uh, here also stairs here down for I think for parking and a lot of beautiful sculptures but also sort of 3D images. This is actually image. Wow, it's wonderful. Wonderful. It looks fantastic. So image art 3D. And I hear piano. So somebody is playing also piano. So let's let's oh yes, here is the piano. And somebody is even singing. So let's let's go there. Because I also love singing. It's wonderful. So I think this will be the nicest accent by leaving this building. Can I record you a little bit? On oh, it's a vlog, it's a vlog. So here's the piano. Sometimes get a rest. this vibe when there is always piano standing somewhere in Hague we have piano at the central station and it's amazing to see people and, and amazing talents are there to play this music so well I think uh, I will bring you actually to the place because this place is so sentimental for me Erasmus MC and this was I think this this was the lift or the lift was a little bit further because it was, I think, here. Here was somewhere the lift, or maybe a little bit, a bit more in the corner. But uh, this is the main entrance, as you can see. And I think you can see it here, yes, Erasmus MC. Yeah. And uh, there is here entrance, uh, main entrance, which used to be without all this complex. So it's, it's amazing, it's a huge change. But the tower still is there, so we'll, you will also see the tower. I was on 10th floor. <laughs> so if Elena, you are watching me or some people from my lab, uh, greetings. Because I know that you guys know, or not all in Netherlands. But I will show you the tower. Is tower visible? The old tower. Oh, the old tower is not visible from here. Is it? No, I think it's not. There is, this is second tower because of the second tower which was built this first tower which I was is not visible so anyway uh, from here warm greetings and I hope you like this vlog from my entrepreneurial event in Rotterdam Square a lot of sentimental also memories doing PhD here uh, was really great and I, I met wonderful people learned a lot about stem cells blood stem cells work a lot with animals and embryos mouse embryos and mice so uh, even it was a challenging it was really great because I met many fantastic researchers so take care and bye see you next time